dear participants the universe is vast almost 20 billion years old it consists of huge cluster of galaxies which contain stars and clouds made up of gas and dust earth is only a small dot of it the origin of earth is considered approximately 4.5 billion years ago life originated on it around 3.5 billion years ago of life is a unique event in the history of the universe and we still don't know how many and which other planet have life on them it was supposed that the atmosphere was not available for early life water vapors methane carbon dioxide and ammonia were there the uv rays from the sun broke up water into hydrogen and oxygen oxygen combines with ammonia and methane to form water carbon dioxide and other biomolecules like nucleic acid and amino acid the ozone layer was formed which prevent uv rays and cool the earth eventually water fell and stored in depressions and made oceans where life originated since then innumerable variety of living beings or living organisms have evolved human beings are the most recent classification living beings are made up of proteins nucleic acid and they use energy from glucose and possess important characteristics such as growth metabolism reproduction ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response scientists and taxonomists attempted many times to classify and organize living beings in a hierarchical order in 1969 rh whitaker proposed a five kingdom classification it is very well known and universally accepted and these kingdoms are monera protista fungi plantae and animalia the main criteria for this classification includes cell structure body organization mode of nutrition reproduction and phylogenetic relationship okay now see this very simple key so that you can learn easily first of all are the prokaryotic means nuclear membrane and double layered cell organelles are absent or not if they are absent yes then they belongs to non monera examples are archaebacteria eubacteria and cyanobacteria if no then are the eukaryotic and unicellular if yes then they belongs to protista examples are chrysophytes diatoms dinoflagellates euclinoids slime molds and protozoans now check if they uh, if that was the no then check here are the eukaryotic multicellular and having a cell wall of chitin and possessing the heterotrophic saprophytic and parasitic type of nutrition if yes then they are fungi such as phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes if no then do they possess cellulosic cell wall and having the chloroplast if yes it means they are plants they are divided into bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperm and angiosperms if again no then they do not contain any cell wall they do not contain any chloroplast it means they are heterotrophic in nature and it means they are animals and they are non chordates and chordates and many other types uh, many other sub types which we will discuss so in this video we will see kingdom animalia porifera are poor bearing animals and commonly known as sponges their origin is expected in late precambrian all sponges are aquatic mostly marine body is cylindrical or vas shaped and porous these small pores help water in or water enter in the body are also called ostia and one excellent or is known as osculum here you can see in this diagram 
Yeah, they are diploblastic and means two layers are there, ectoderm and endoderm. Cellular level organization where many cells are present like pinacoderm who make their outer covering, coenoderm or collar cells who make their inner covering and also help in the feeding mechanism. Arche uh, archaeocytes are totipotent cells who may be converted into any other type of cells as per requirement and many more cells are there who perform different functions. A special feature of these porifera is canal system. Here you can see in this above rotating diagram. The DD or cylindrata are more developed than porifera and they have cellular tissue grade of organization. All are aquatic. Two types of individual occur. Attached are polyp and free swimming are medusae. The wall is diploblastic with two cellular layers, outer epidermis and inner gastrodermis or cylindro. The cylindron also acts as hydroskeleton against which the contractile cells can work. Asexual reproduction found in polyp and sexual reproduction in medusae. Therefore, some show alternation of generations. Important represent representative are coral tubes. Helminths. Helminths are worm like parasites that survive by feeding on living hosts to gain food and shelter. They cause illness to the host. Commonly known helminths groups are platyhelminths, also called as flatworms, and ascalminths or nematoda, means round worms. Flukes are flattened, oval, and leaf shaped worms. These are two types, tissue flukes and blood flukes. Their infections are most common in Asia, Africa, South America and Middle East. Roundworms or nematodes are slender worms that can, live, that can live, feed and reproduce in the human intestine. For the parasitic nature, they developed some specific features such as tough, thick and resistant tegument or cuticle covering on the body, low metabolic rate and anaerobic respiration, adhesive organs like suckers and hooks. Advancements can be seen in these organisms are three layers, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm, organ system level, and copulatory organs and conoducts are present. Annelida. These organisms have annuli, means little rings, on whole body. They are found in marine water, fresh water, and moist terrestrial environments. They developed them with more advanced and terrestrial and more they developed them with more advanced segments and these are true metameric segmentation, head, appendages and gills in some animals. Circular and longitudinal muscles are present in elementary canal and as well as body wall. Circulatory system contains red blood. Nervous system consists of nerve ring and a solid double and mid ventral cord and ganglia with ganglia. Nephridia are present for excretion and osmoregulation. Polychaetes such as nidids have flap like parapodia. 
on each segment. Hirudinia such as leads are blood sucker and budgets sucker on edges. Important representative of this phylum is Arthur, who is considered as friend of farmer and soil engineer because they make soil fertile by casting. Earthworm and leeches have a thickened, light-colored, glandular and non-segmented section near head region is called clitellum, which stores eggs to form cocoa. Now Arthropoda. This phylum have highest number of animals. The arthropods are most successful, adapted and present omnivore. Present omnivore. Land, soil, water, fruits, air, even in top of mountains and great depth of oceans. These animals have unique feature that their appendages are jointed. Body is divided in head, thorax and abdomen or cephalothorax and trunk. Body is covered by hard chitinous cuticle which is shared, which is said periodically for growth. This process is called as ectasis. Many types of mouth parts are present in insects. Thorax of insects bear one or two pairs of wings and three pairs of legs. Many arthropods spread diseases by being vectors such as malaria and dengue by mosquito. Some are poisonous like a scorpion. Some are helpful in pollination like bee and butterfly. Prawns are edible. Spiders are known for making web type houses. Ants and wasps and termites show society or colonial culture. Some insects show camouflage and protect themselves easily by hiding. which is due to torsion, torsion or twisting during the growth. Better developed sense organs such as eyes which is due to torsion, torsion or twisting during the growth. Better developed sense organs such as eyes, statocysts, and Ophridia are present. Mantle is present, which is thin, fleshy, and covering dorsal body wall. Bivalve forms pearl, an important ornament. Octopus ejects an inky fluid in water to escape from enemies. All organisms are live in marine water. Echinoderms have spines or pincer like pedicillary. Spines protect them and pedicillary keeps the body surface clear from debris. Unique feature in these organisms is water vascular system or ambulacral system. Two feet are useful in locomotion respiration and capturing of prey. True androcelomic silom starts from these organisms which is mostly present in chordate animals. Hemichordata This phylum was previously 
considered under the Gordita, but later on it is changed or shifted into the non Gordita. Amicodata exclusively amicodates are exclusively marine and body divisible into proboscis, collar, and trunk. Not about like a structure found in roof of buccal cavity and called stomachord. This was the confusion of the its uh, its position in codata and non codata, but now it is considered under the non codata. Example is balanoplosis. Eurocodates are marine animals. Body is covered by the test or tunic. Notochord usually present in larval stage and restricted to tail. That's why these are called as eurocodata, euromis tail. And retrogressive metamorphosis is usually seen. Eurocodates are marine animals. Body is covered by the test or tunic. Notochord usually present in larval stage and restricted to tail. That's why these are called as eurocodata, euromis tail. And retrogressive metamorphosis is usually seen. Cephalocodata. Examples of the Eurocodata are Hadmania, Doliolum, Selva. Cephalocodata. Cephalocodata persists, not a cord, throughout the life and extends in front up to the tip of the snout. That's why they are called as cephalocordata. Cephalo means brain. Example is ampioxus. Cycloestomata. Cycloestomata is considered under the vertebrata or craniata. This is a subphylum of phylum cordata. Vertebrates, those Organisms, vertebrates are those organisms who possess vertebral column instead of notochord. Or we can say that notochord modifies into the vertebral column. Notochord replaced by the vertebral column and neural tube differentiated into the brain and the spinal cord. So those are vertebrata or vertebrates. Vertebrates have two groups, agnetha and Agnetha. Agnetha are considered, uh, cycloestomata are considered under the agnetha. Agnetha are those organisms, those do not contain nethos means jaws. Therefore, cycloestomata do not have jaws, or we can say that mouth are, mouth is not bounded by jaws. Roof of skull is membranous. A single median external nostril is also present. These organisms generally stick to the other large fishes and carry the food. Example is Patromyza. Ornithostomates are those organisms who have nethos means jaws. So we can say that their mouth is bounded, their mouth are bounded by jaws, two external layers are present, and respiration through gills or lungs. Tetrapoda. Tetrapoda have two pairs of appendages. They have pentadactyl limbs means five fingers are present in the limbs but it is not compulsory for all. Heart have three to four chambers. Lungs are the main respiratory organ for the respiration. Reptilian class have snakes and lizards. These are gripping vertebrates. 
lizards have legs while snakes do not. These are terrestrial animals. Although some organisms are present, some snakes and like alligator, crocodile. Next class of the tetrapoda is aves. Aves have four limb modification into wings and they help them to fly. That's why aves contain all those of us who can fly and have wings. Family are those organisms who possess memory glands. That's why who have memory glands. Here are present on the on the skin. External pinna are present. This complete classification of the tetrapoda is based on the skin and its modifications.